Hi guys, this is Tony at Tab Gear again. We want to talk about our newest precision rifle sling today. We're calling it the Pinnacle Rifle Sling or the PRS Sling for short. I've shot matches for many years and the only time that I put my arm in an arm loop is when you have a positional stage during one of your matches, whether it be a standing, a kneeling, or a sitting stage. I've talked to a lot of law enforcement snipers, I've talked to a lot of military snipers around the world to ask them if they ever use the arm loop during a call out or during a deployment. And I have yet to find anybody that utilizes the arm loop on the job. So we got to thinking, what if we totally remove the arm loop from the precision rifle sling? And the PRS sling is what has evolved from a couple of years worth of research uh, in the field with different people around the country. So if you will imagine that carrying the rifle in a patrol carry fashion like this, your body is in the arm loop, similar to your arm would be in the arm loop. You'll kind of get the idea of, of our thought process. So in essence, I'm slung up right now. So if I need to take a standing shot, I would simply bring the rifle up, reach up, tighten the rifle, and now you're slung up for a standing shot. To loosen it, you simply pull the release tab, loosen the rifle, and you're back to your patrol carry position. You're able to tighten the sling up very easy in the patrol carry position to keep it tighter to the body if you're moving so the rifle doesn't move around as much or if you need to make a transition with a pistol you're able to keep the rifle up against the body in that manner very easy. If you need to uh, go to an over the shoulder carry with the rifle simply roll the rifle over to, uh, to the back reach up, pull the tightening webbing to tighten the sling up against the body. You can see it's very tight against the body now. The sling is, uh, the rifle is not moving anywhere. If I need to say, go from a standing with the rifle across my back to a kneeling shot, it's very easy to do that because the release tab is right in the middle of the chest. You simply grab that release tab, which has now loosened it, uh, the buckle. I can loosen the sling webbing. Now I'm still maintaining control of the rifle because I've I'm holding onto the release tab as I reach around to grab the rifle. As I grab the rifle, then I just simply release the release tab. The rifle comes down into a patrol carry fashion. I simply drop down into a kneeling position, reach up, tighten the sling, and take your shot. Now this is a critical adjustment here in the adjustment of the quick release buckle that's at the front, which is adjusted with the webbing at the front swivel. It's very important that you adjust that buckle so that you can reach it while you're actually looking downrange through your glass. You need to be able to loosen it and tighten it while you're on the glass looking downrange. That's the whole point of this thing is to be able to utilize this sling as a marksmanship aid in no matter what you're doing, what position you're in. So adjust that to where you can actually access it no matter what position you're in. So you're in a kneeling position and if you need to go to a sitting position, it's very easy to take a little tension off of it. Simply roll down into a sitting position, tighten it up again, and assume the sitting position. If you're gonna shoot off of a barricade, again, you can release the sling. You can come up, put your rifle up on your barricade, reach up and tighten the, right, tighten the sling again, now you're able to reach back and grab the butt of the rifle like you would in a prone position and your support elbow is now resting on top of the sling. So as you're in position, you are able to exert downward pressure with the support elbow tightening the rifle into the barricade. If you need to change positions, again, release the sling, come up to a different position. You can tighten the sling. Again, you, I'm still in the uh, um, patrol carry position. I haven't come out of that at all. So you come down into a position on your barricade and make your shot. Now a lot of guys nowadays are practicing with the um, slings attached to a carabiner on their belt and that's why we have this webbing loop built into the sling in between the two buckles. And if you have a carabiner, it's easy to clip into that uh, loop on your sling. And if you're in position, 
you simply are able to tighten the sling up and as you relax your hips backwards it'll tighten everything up and able to make your shot you can loosen it up very easily there's enough webbing in between where you're connected to your belt to the front swivel that you can actually move from place from barricade to barricade and stay connected to the rifle and make your shot and easily move from one place to the next to go back to your patrol carry you simply come out of clip it off of the uh, carabiner and you're back into your patrol carry fashion if you're in patrol carry you can go anywhere from a standing uh, shot all the way down to an unsupported prone so I'm still in a patrol carry fashion you can roll down onto the ground get into your prone position take your take the tension up now we have complete relaxation and we're on bone on bone support the hard point that's at the front that we spoke about is there so if you have to take a Hawkins position where down, down low to the ground it will support the rifle like a like a monopod and it'll support the weight of that 20 pound rifle sitting on top of that just like that so again you can get down Rest the rifle and take your shot. So there's a quick rundown on a few of the shooting positions that are possible with the uh, Tab Gear PRS sling. Thanks for your time.